So in Joule-Thomson effect, we have a throttling process in which we have a pipe and gas is flowing. Since the cross-section area of the wall is very small, we assume the heat transfer is zero. There are no moving parts, so work done is zero. Changes in kinetic energy are zero and changes in potential energy are also equals to zero. So if you write the first law, then your Q dot will cancel out with W dot. Your M dot will cancel out with M dot. Your velocity head is zero, so that will also cancel out. Potential head will also cancel out. So you left with H1 equal to H2. This is universally true, whether it's an ideal gas or it's a real gas. And in case of ideal gas, in enthalpy is a function of temperature only. Therefore, we will say T1 equal to T2. That is for ideal gas. Gas, enthalpy is not the function of Cp only. It has the other variable also. So in that case, we cannot claim that T1 equal to T2. But still, for real gas, one thing is true. That H1 equals to what? H2. That is the process is what? Isoenthalpic process constant enthalpic process and remember the process always takes place that is this process always takes place from high pressure to low pressure therefore this is always a irreversible process so here the joule thomson effect or joule thomson coefficient is defined as the partial derivative of temperature with a partial derivative of pressure keeping the enthalpy constant that is the true definition so temperature is my y axis and pressure is my x axis and it is known that dy by dx is called as slope so is the term del t by del p is almost equals to slope of which diagram temperature versus pressure diagram and remember this one this one is called as positive slope and this one is called as negative slope if you are rising it's a positive if you are downward it is negative when the data was collected for the real gases they observe the curve like this. This one is called as inversion curve. First of all, you tell me that in throttling, in throttling, are you moving from high pressure to low pressure? So, is this pressure is a high pressure? So, is a movement in a throttling is only allowed in this side? Only on this side only from high pressure to low pressure now check here this point this point a this point b and this point c this one is positive slope this one is negative slope so is horizontal is zero slope. so what is the slope at this point it means that the value of mu equal to what zero. agree from b to c is it a negative slope so what is the value of mu? A is negative. And if you move from A to B, so for A to B, slope is always positive. So mu is positive. I will uh, study this graph in two parts. First from B to C. So whether it's from B to C or from C to B? From C to B. So if you move from C to B, if you move from C to B, are you going this way? So this is my starting point 1, this is my end point 2, if my mu is negative, is my pressure P1 is more than P2, so is the process is possible, is the throttling is possible, but if I select mu equal to negative, then is my temperature is increasing is my temperature T2 is increasing so for cooling 
mu negative is never preferred now check this one if I am here at point 3 and I am here at point 4 is pressure number 3 is more than 4 so is this process is possible for mu positive region is the pressure P3 is greater than P4 is the throttling is possible and is the value of T4 is less than T3 so is it a cooling effect T4 is less than T3 so this is the cooling effect this one is what heating effect so as far as the cooling is considered you have to take care of mu what mu positive if mu positive it is current it is guaranteed that the temperature will decrease if mu is equal to 0 there is no change and for mu equal to negative it's an adverse effect that is instead of cooling you will get heating